Hello, I'm here, chalk in hand, to tell you that it is September 10th. Which means I have not cut together an update for five weeks. I can explain what happened. The ratio of labor between the designing and building and the filmmaking is really about one to one. Now, I love the designing and building and I love the filmmaking. So the time demands of either one is not a problem until available time becomes limited. When that happens, the designing and building tends to win out. And about two weeks ago, I suddenly only had about 20 days left here at the camp with a long list of things to wrap up before winter. The filmmaking has taken a hit. In a bit of backwards storytelling, let's start with a tour of everything I've gotten done to date. I had a track loader here for a couple days and I cleared off all the organic matter off the top of the old tennis court and the two big piles of gravel, I moved all the way down to the job site. A lot of that gravel I put down onto the small access road we're maintaining down to the camp. And I reworked the topology around here really quite a bit to help with water runoff. I planted three or four trees, probably about 20 to go in this area. I insulated and waterproofed and backfilled behind the big concrete wall at the back of the saloon. And with more of that gravel, I finished the French drain that runs back here. And I framed and closed in the upper wall. Next up is to continue the beams and posts and footings in an easterly direction. I installed this cross beam and put in this white pine wall. I had to reroute a lot of electrical and I boiled it down to this single packet, which I'm snaking through the wall here to be dealt with by a proper electrician someday. And I sistered, sistered, sistered a four by eight up against that eight by eight to make this beam stronger. It's carrying a heavy load. I installed it with 42 10 inch spikes with a sledgehammer, which was a bigger job than I expected. I installed this beam, this post, this post, and I'm starting to close in these walls. I poured the first section of floor, partly to figure out how to do it. It's four inches of gravel, sand to smooth it out, two inches of insulation, and four inches of concrete. I poured this retaining wall for the storage space, and I put in two footings for posts, all of which are pinned into ledge and frost safe. I'm about to put in this beam, which I believe gets us up to date. So let's wind back five weeks to the beginning of this story. There's been a change in the seasons. Not only is fall coming on fast, there's the first I've seen of leaves changing color, but things have also quieted down on the lake and I now have my days to myself to work on this operation. And some things are moving forward nicely. The last of the saloon concrete walls has been poured. And with another quiet day to myself, let's pull 
these forms and see how she looks. form concrete walls that I've now been framing up and pouring for the better part of a year. They are such a beautiful and clear example of a design and build process that needs to strike a balance and walk a line between control and chaos and happenstance and chance and planning. I certainly engineer these walls in such a way that they don't fall apart, but when I'm putting up these boards, I allowed them enough controlled failure points to allow for this happenstance and you know, really beautiful, beautiful texture and form that came from a combination of foresight and planning and allowing things to run their course in a sometimes unpredictable way. And a moment like this that I truly find to be, <gasps> there's a chipmunk. as I was saying, boy, I love these concrete walls and the way they came out. They're a lovely study in a certain approach to process.
Welcome back to September 10th. Welcome back to October 10th. That was the moment that the build side of this operation took over from the filmmaking side and I stopped shooting. But while we're here and before the end of the day, Let's put in this beam. The filmmaker can't keep up with the builder. It's October 11th and I snuck in this little wall and window project. This is the end, I promise. Mm -hmm. 